of course, I would like to encourage you to keep doing mathematics. I think being a mathematician is the nicest job on earth. That's why I did it. And uh, uh, but the bad news is uh, nothing comes for free ever, and you have to really commit yourself entirely if you want to succeed, unless you are somebody like Abel. Happens every once every hundred years, but from what I understand, Habel, even Habel worked very hard at what he was doing. So uh, there is no magic, and if you are not Habel, you have to work even harder. And uh, also, you have to be persistent. Uh, things don't uh, don't come so easily. You know, the it's when I started doing mathematics. So I was a student; I didn't know anything at all. And I arrive in a seminar where people have been doing this their kind of stuff for years, and I sit there, and I have no idea what they talk about. And this lasted maybe something like a year. And uh, there is no easy solution, because uh, I say, OK, give me papers that I can read. And then I look at the paper, and the introduction, they mention, they mention 10 other papers of which I have no idea. So it's sort of difficult to start. So you have to focus on something special, and then you understand it, and then you feel more comfortable, and then you expand your knowledge. The, the, thing, the important thing is don't get discouraged at the beginning, that's, uh, because that's a part where you are the more fragile. Once you have started having, achieving something somewhere, however small, it gives you courage and energy. Uh, so I don't know. I don't really d d was not told uh, at which stage of your mathematical life you are, uh, but somehow the, the 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 most dangerous one is the beginning. So please uh, remember that and keep trying very hard, okay, as hard as you can. Uh, why I think mathematics is a is a great job. You don't depend on getting a grant for your own equipment. Huh? You can work with uh, your own computer, that's all you ever need, and your online papers and communicating with people. It's Im unbelievable freedom. Uh, you can uh, work in vacation, that happens to me. Uh, when <laughs> well, no, I don't do that too much, but you know, there is, okay, I'm stuck in the bus, uh, for hours, and then I cannot help starting thinking at mathematics, and I, at least one time I had a small idea in the bus, you know, but it's not the best. I don't encourage you to take the bus to have ideas. You are better in your office, but <laughs> if you cannot do anything, anything else. Okay, so I hope many of you will succeed, and or at least um, there are various ways of succeeding. The most important is being happy with yourself and earning a, li a good living, a decent living at least. And I think mathematics is it's a great way to do it because w there is going to be an infinite demand of mathematics in the future. That's a good news. Uh, the okay, mat mathematics, which are for the say the honor of human mind, like uh, number theory, it was great before. It's still great now, but now there is there is this huge demand on uh, uh, b analyzing, getting information of out of big sets of data, you know, and I was lucky somehow that I, s I uh, did some work on, on concepts which uh, became much more important later than they were when I, uh, when I studied them, exactly because the i-dimensional things are important in application. Now, you know, everybody knows about artificial intelligence. Uh, it's probably, l it's very likely that mathematicians will be hired a lot uh, by companies who are w working on that. And uh, so it will give plenty of jobs to uh, all of you. Huh? So you choose the right, absolutely perfect field. Congratulations. <laughs>